It's great to have Flat Hardware arriving here at the Kennedy Space Center for the Artemis One mission. We are going to have boots on the moon by 2024 in this first test flight of Artemis One. This sets the stage for the crewed flights that follow. So uh, I can't wait to see these motor segments arrive. This, this solid rocket motor, it, it's 17 stories tall. It's five segments, not four like the shuttle. 3.6 million pounds of thrust in each one. This is going to be awesome and uh, we're going to be ready here at KSC. So as far as being able to launch Artemis 1, we got to get that core stage here. So we need it to complete its testing at the Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. Once that's complete, you know, we're ready here at KSC. We'll get the solid rocket motors here. The Orion crew module has already been through its testing up at the Glenn Research Center at the Plum Brook facility up there, passed its tests with flying colors. It's in storage over in the operations and checkout building. So once we know that the core stage is on its way, we'll have the solid rocket motor stacked. We'll get the core stage here and stack it, and then we'll add the upper stage and the command service module on top of that. Here we go, right here. All right, so this is the first pin for the Artemis program boosters. Uh, the last time this uh, booster was pinned here was 10 years ago for shuttle. Pin. Uh, Jeff Angermeyer from the Exploration Ground Systems. I am the flow director here at the Kennedy Space Center. All right, the Exploration Ground Systems program is responsible for preparing the Kennedy Space Center for the next generation of launch vehicles and spacecraft. The goal of the Artemis program is to put the first woman and next man on the surface of the moon by the end of 2024. Uh, the Exploration Ground Systems program and the Kennedy Space Center is very excited to receive uh, the uh, first shipment of Artemis solid rocket motors from the uh, Space Launch System program. It's been nine years since we've processed any segments in the Rotation Processing and Search Facility, and uh, we've been working a long time to get ready for this moment. The receipt of the solid rocket motors at the Kennedy Space Center is a big moment for Exploration Ground Systems. We've been working for over the last decade to prepare for, uh, Artemis, for the Artemis missions. And uh, with the receipt of these segments, it's the first time that we will have large flight hardware that we'll be actively processing towards that mission. We have received some flight hardware over the last year, but we've really just been storing that flight hardware. This is the first time where we're actively receiving it and preparing it for flight. Uh, with this shipment coming from Utah, we will receive all 10 segments that we will need uh, for the Artemis One mission. Uh, once we receive them, they will uh, uh, be received at the Rotation Processing Surge Facility. Uh, we will take the aft motors, we will attach it to an aft skirt that will make up the aft booster assembly. Uh, the remaining eight segments uh, we will offload from the rail cars and we'll put them in storage. Later this fall, uh, we, expect to, uh, we expect to start stacking those segments on top of the mobile launcher and vehicle assembly building three, high bay three. Our exploration ground systems program is making great progress towards the Artemis One mission. Our launch pad is ready. Our offline processing facilities are ready. We're doing the final subsystem work on the mobile launcher and the vehicle assembly building and our fin final software development is, is in work in the Launch Control Center. So we are excited. So uh, later this fall, we will uh, actually get into processing and stacking the vehicle in the vehicle assembly building.